concept behind Hollywood CEO is, is really very simple. Uh, I like to tell people, I uh, just think that Anthony Robbins needs access Hollywood. Like if Tony Robbins was in Hollywood at these uh, these Hollywood type events, uh, what are the type of, types of things that he would be focusing on? What are the types of things that he would be emphasizing in terms of excellence and self-improvement and uh, overcoming obstacles and, and overcoming uh, rejection and, and, and devastation in business? And, and seeing as we are in Hollywood, we're at uh, our uh, events, our company events, and our Hollywood type events, charity events, red carpet events, and whatnot, uh, what are the things that we've had to overcome in order to achieve success as a company, but also the people that we're bringing on. And we've got several people tonight that we're going to be bringing on uh, that just have amazing stories that you're not even going to believe uh, that these are, you know, that these things actually happen and then what they did to overcome those types of adversities. Uh, and keep it on a positive level. Uh, you know, Sarah, there's really, uh, I think there's really four kinds of shows that exist in Hollywood today. Uh, first, you have your uh, uh, your red carpet type. Uh, you know, you have fifty million dollars, and you look beautiful, and you have a million dollar uh, you know necklace on or a dress. You know, who are you wearing or who are you dating? Those type of shows, which has value, uh, has, trem trem has tremendous uh, value. How are you? Has tremendous tremendous value uh, because it makes people happy. Anything that makes people smile and laugh has value. Uh, so that has value. A second type of a show are those shows that maybe focus on the negative or focus on, uh, you know, trying to catch, uh, you know, the paparazzi type shows, trying to catch uh, somebody, quote unquote, famous, uh, doing something wrong or catching them in an embarrassing moment or, moment or with an embarrassing question, catching them the bar, uh, leaving the club in the middle of the night, for example. Uh, and again, there's certain value in that as well, whatever you may think, think of that uh, is, uh, you know, uh, everyone has their opinion, but there's certain value in that. We're not going to do uh, do that either. But the third type of show is, uh, is 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 tracking or following maybe super successful or or, or, or uh, very wealthy celebrities tracking their lives and and, and uh, you know seeing the, the, the ins and outs of what happens in their daily lives, which is also interesting to a certain uh, to a certain extent. But we're not going to do that either. What we're going to do is really the fourth type of show, which which we're kind of breaking through. There are other type of shows, obviously Oprah Winfrey and, and, and other types of entertainment shows, which focus on the the, the positive and, 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 and focus on what you, as somebody watching this, what you can pull out of this. Uh, and whatever you're going through, whatever challenge that you're facing right now, you're going to see in the upcoming weeks here, you're going to see people who have gone through much worse situations than you'll ever, in fact, tonight we have somebody, Sean, I know, Sarah, that you you have talked to Sean, and you're not going to believe this story and what she's had to overcome uh, to be here tonight with us, and, and again, we're so fortunate because we're in a situation where these are people that are in our lives, these are friends of ours that you're going to hear from, and we get juice just by hearing their stories, which motiv motivates us to move even faster and further beyond. I always tell a story about when I was when I was in, in uh, working with this company and it's the sales company back when I was a kid, uh, and the um, the big guys or the big uh, uh, producers in the company used to talk about. <laughs> they used to talk about this tape that you could listen to. There was a tape that you could actually this is back when there were cassette tapes, by the way, those youngsters out there, there were these things that were put in through a cassette player, and it were called the cassette tape, that you could listen to, and it would it would get, it would make you rich by listening to this tape. You could listen to these words people would say and make you rich, and that was just a mind blower to me. Like, wow, if I could ever get a hold of such a tape, uh, that would really be exciting. And I never really did get a hold of it until much later. And that tape was a tape called Think and Grow Rich, which turned into which turned into to, to me to be an amazing lifelong journey of personal development after reading that book and listening to those audio programs. Uh, and again, those concepts are what we are teaching in our show, Hollywood CEO. Uh, and you'll see these concepts as we go through our various episodes. You'll see these concepts come through, uh, and there are certain patterns that successful people uh, will repeat over and over again. It's almost like baking a cake. If you had the recipe to bake the perfect cake, the, the, the ingredients, the amount of the ingredients, the amount of time you need to cook that thing, when you put on the icing, 
to make the perfect cake. If you had that recipe, you could make a perfect cake every time. And just by changing one little aspect of that recipe, you could change the whole outcome of your cake. So what we're going to do in this series of shows is give you the entire recipe, piece by piece by piece, ingredient by ingredient by ingredient, step by step by step, uh, but do it in a, in a setting uh, that is very exciting. I mean, we're actually in Beverly Hills. We're on uh, right now, uh, we're, on, we're on Cannon and Little Santa Monica, right in the heart of Beverly Hills. Rodeo Drive is, is, is uh, one block that away. Uh, Wilshire Boulevard is that, that way. The, the Beverly Wilshire Hotel, the Beverly Hills Hotel. We're right in the middle of all the action. And again, those of us that are here in Hollywood or in LA or Beverly Hills, like, wow, so what? Big deal. Ho hum. You're, you're up in you're Beverly Hills. But around the world, it's exciting because people want to know, people want to kind of see the inside of what happens uh, at these types of events. So we're going to bring it to you from an exciting place.